Hi everybody, so today I have a drugstore makeup and beauty haul for you. I popped into Superdrug yesterday and I picked up some bits and bobs, so I thought that I would share them with you as usual. And the first thing that I got is this primer, it is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Fatigue Blur Primer in Cool Rose. It is a pinky colour and I thought that I would get this instead of the pore minimising one because I do have my Benefit Professional um, which does the job perfectly. So I just thought I might try this one for day to day. With it being a rose colour I thought that it might help to brighten up my complexion, you know, I'm a bit pale with it being the winter and everything so I thought that I would give this a try. The next thing that I got is this Maybelline BB Cream in medium. It's SPF 30. I've had this before. I really love it just for every day. Um, if I'm not trying to do a whole makeup look and I literally just want something to slap on my face, just to even out my complexion, I really love this for that. Also, in the summer when I've got a tan, I do tend to mix this with my foundation sometimes if I just want a more natural look. Sticking with the Maybelline theme, I also got the Colossal Cat Eyes Mascara. I used to use this and and I thought that I would just give it a try again. It was on special offer. Um, I think it had about two or three pounds off it. So I thought I might as well try it again. My L'Oreal one is running out a bit. It's kind of drying up. So I thought I might as well give this one a go. I don't know if it will replace my L'Oreal Volume Millions lashes because that stuff is amazing. But I thought that I would give it a try again because I used to like it when I used it. So I've been after a new pinky nude sort of lip liner recently and I picked this one up from Maybelline again. Can you tell I spent a long time at the Maybelline counter. Um, it's just a pinky nude. That's literally the only way I can describe it. It matches the colour of my lips perfectly so you can't even see when I've got it on really. This is in the colour 132 Sweet Pink and it's really nice. Um, I just thought that I would wear this with nude lipsticks, pink lipsticks. Um, I just kind of needed one really. So recently I have been looking for a lipstick that will replace this one. It is Max Honey Love and it is a pinky beige um, and I wear this quite often. As you can tell, I'm nearly out and I just thought... I'm going to have to repurchase this soon. I'm going to see if I can find anything that will be a good dupe for it. If not, I'll just repurchase it. I mean, I'll probably end up repurchasing it anyway because, come on, it's me. But um, I got this one from Maybelline again. It is called Tantalising Taupe. 725 is the number. It is a perfect dupe. I've got it on today. Um, I really, really love it. And I will go as far as to say I actually prefer it to Honey Love just for an everyday look. It's slightly more natural. Um, it's not as beige as Honey Love, but I absolutely love this. I think it's a bit more wearable than Honey Love. I think Honey Love, I keep saying Honey Love, it suits me better when I've got a tan, whereas this is just a perfect everyday colour for me at the moment. So I'm really, really happy with that. I absolutely love this colour. I can see it being my new everyday colour. I'm just in love. I've just realised all of that makeup that I've just shown you is from Maybelline. Oh well, um, onto the beauty stuff. I just picked up these cotton pads because I take my makeup off with them and I was running out. I also picked up this Shape and Shine block. I know they are not great for your nails. I tend not to use the really harsh side of it, but my nails have been in such a state recently. I haven't been wearing nail polish. It is because I've worn nail polish for so long without giving my nails a break and they were just splitting and literally the whole of this nail about halfway up, it just, the top layer of it peeled off. It was disgusting. So I just thought I'm going to have to give up on the nail polish for a while. But I thought that I could use one of these, to be honest. I have quite a lot of ridges in my nails recently. I don't know what's going on with them. I haven't been ill or anything. I know that you usually get ridges when you've been poorly, but um, no, I haven't been ill. I do think it is because I've worn nail polish constantly for years. So I'm just trying to give them a little bit of a break and I thought that this might help me with my troubles. Lastly, I just stocked up on some dry shampoo because you can never have too much dry shampoo. Um, I love the Batiste. Um, I've tried other ones. I just always go back to this. I really love it. I like the scent of the coconut one the best, but um, this one really, really does the job. The XXL volume, it does make your hair feel a little bit gritty, but it adds so much volume. I'm not gonna harp on about these because you will have seen them before and they've been out for ages. I've used them for years and I just love them. So that is it for this haul, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and I'll see you soon. Bye.